Good morning, family. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Hey, welcome to the Mental House with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. All right, roll call. I'm checking in on you, family. It's just been a lot going on. Um, and I hope y'all are all safe out there, not only from the coronavirus, but from these crazy ass police. Um, and um, I don't have to take the time and say, oh, not all cops are bad. Um, what I feel is that there's enough bad ones that when the good ones try to expose them, then they're put in a position like Serpico. And so for those of y'all who don't know who Serpico is, check it out. I want to congratulate my children all across the country, all over the world. I want to thank you. I want to commend you for standing up for justice. I want to commend you for standing up for change. I want to commend you for standing up in the name of George Floyd, the Kia Boy, Emmett Till, and the list goes on and on and on and on in every generation, in every year, in every placement of our bodies on this soil. We've had to deal with this. And you got people actually talking about stores. You looted my store. Okay, look, we got bad. You know, you're going to find somebody going to do something in every type of situation. Okay, black and white. But let me tell you something. Don't talk sh no shit to me about what got burnt down. Remember Wall Street. Okay, black Wall Street. When you want to talk about burning down, burning down towns, burning down black people, everybody repeat after me, Black Wall Street, okay? And how you dump those bodies and put them in the position where nobody could even claim nor have a proper burial for their loved ones. And you got the nerve to tell me about somebody fucking breaking in Target? I really don't give a damn. I really don't give a damn. Black Wall Street. It needs to be equal justice in this country or else. Fuck it. One justice system for all of us or none. None. Let me tell you something about fire. I've always told y'all that. I've always said, and I know y'all y'all pointed it out to me. So we on the same page. Fire. When it destroys everything in its path, whatever comes back is now new. Whatever it is, is new. America could not go on like this. Who the hell can live in a society where you stole from the Native American? You stole everything you got, you stole and looted. And you got the nerve, you hypocritical Babylon. And got the nerve to sit up here and tell people a peaceful protest. What the hell is a peaceful protest? I've never seen it. And don't want to. I don't want to see no peaceful protest. Y'all ain't peaceful when you arrest us. You ain't peaceful when you kill us for no reason. But you want a peaceful protest. Y'all really need to flip the script and put yourself in our shoes. And unless you do, I ain't even trying to hear it. Okay? And what you need to do is get a sign of leadership. This dude you got in sitting up there representing America in the heartbeat of the motherland. I mean, of, of America. Uh, the great whore is Donald Trump. She represents, he represents what the great whore is right now. Yes, I call America the great whore because if she do everything for money, she's a whore. Anything got to do with money, America's on it. She's a whore. So the great whore has put Donald Trump in office. Okay. And Donald Trump is a narcissistic, um, matter of fact, he's a malignant, narcissistic, insane psychopath. All of them. I ain't even no doctor. Don't have to be. This is the mental health. This is my diagnosis. Okay? Now, the fact of the matter is, are y'all just going to get his ass up out of office in November just so I can't see him no more? I ain't even saying shit gonna change overnight. I just don't want to see his damn face up in there. I don't want to see his fat ass walking with his orange face across the damn lawn no more. And I don't want to see his whore wife. I don't want to think about any of that goddamn family. I want them all gone. 
Okay? And if you agree with me, go to the polls. Get his ass out. For those of y'all who don't believe in voting, okay. All right? He going to be there. I was looking at the statistics in the cities that got him over. That 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 and my Milwaukee was one of them. It was something like 200,000 of us uh didn't come out to vote. And he won Wisconsin by about, uh, uh, you know, a hundred something thousand or whatever, wherever it was. It was because we didn't come out. So they say that's what the numbers do. The numbers don't lie. Okay. It don't, the numbers don't lie. So if this happened in Michigan, because it ain't like we like Trump so much here. We just didn't go out to vote. So if it's a possibility that the shit work. Let's just make sure, let's just put the shit to the test in November. Get his fat hamburger, pizza eating punk ass out, out of office. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just really angry this morning. And get somebody in there that's going to do what they need to do. And start healing in this land. Because unless we get some peace, none of y'all should have no damn peace. None of yous that sleep at night. And think it's easy to be black and raising black boys and got black brothers and black uncles and black sons. What is wrong with you? Black husbands and black boyfriends and black nephews. We sick of y'all killing us. And those of y'all who are silent, you are complicit in it and it's consent. I'm sick of it. I don't mind collateral damage. I really don't. I had to come up and speak to their children. I'm all good. I hope everybody check in and then let me know that you're all good. I'm, I'm going to come on with a little bit more video because I got to share some stuff that's been going on in my life. Um, um, y'all, a lot of y'all know about my father who I haven't spoken with in 30 years. Um, now he's in um, a situation where he was in a bad car accident. And um, nobody's stepping up to the plate. Okay, so that's a whole other story. We talk about black fathers. Um, and even though our relationship was a strain for the last 30 years, because he was a father to me, because he was a father to me, um, I, I feel compelled to make something happen for this individual, my dad. The man who helped bring me and give me life and cut my cord when they didn't even do that. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about some family stuff. I want to know if y'all are all safe. I want y'all to know that I am uh, just been going through some technical difficulties and, and, and trying to pull it together. But I want to get more consistent with the videos and got some um, equipment now. Hopefully that's going to hold up for the rigorous uh, taping that I really want to do. Um, and I hope y'all still support the channel. If, um, if you out there, shout out to me. Let me know you okay. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you, family.